Anthropic has moved the AI frontier yet again with their newest Claude Sonnet 4.5 model. And the launch comes as the AI model race hits an inflection point. So much so that Chinese models are leading the open source and they are seriously challenging these closed source labs like Anthropic and OpenAI. But Claude Sonnet 4.5? I believe is a meaningful step towards real world AI agents and that is what we are going to look at in this video. I know that many people have already covered this model. So what is different about this video? I am going to tell you a very quick overview of the model and then we will be testing it out the model on various real world benchmarks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. If you look at this table, this gives you a quick snapshot of the model and shows how far Claude Sonnet 4.5 has come. It's basically Anthropic's most powerful coding and reasoning models yet and the numbers back it up if you look at the benchmarks which they have shared. On SUI Bench Verified, which tests real-world software engineering tasks, the accuracy is really to die for. In computer use benchmarks, it has performed very, very well. Beyond the raw scores, you can see that they have released checkpoints for coding behind the scene, a VS Code extension, file handling is built into Claude apps, and Smarter API is also there with memory tools that keep long sessions alive. Pricing is also quite good. It hasn't really changed from Sonnet 4. So you are getting all that extra muscle without paying extra. But of course, unless you push it into the 1 million context tier. To cut the long story short, whenever you are using these API based models, always, always be aware of the cost and just set a ceiling. Enough theory, let me take you straight to the console and I'm using Amazon Bedrock in order to chat with this model. First up, I'm going to give it this prompt where I'm asking this model to create me a self-contained world-class HTML file for a corporate accounting dashboard. And it should have some donut charts, some um, absolute values, some bar charts, pie charts, trend analysis widget, KPA cards, extra polish, and a lot of other stuff. And this will be present presentation ready for the CFO. Let's run it. I'm not even enabling model reasoning and I'm just going to run it like this. Let me take it here and you can see the speed. So let it create the code and then I will play it in the browser. While that happens, let me also introduce you to our very good friends at dat1.co. Dat1.co has recently added a new collection of pre-deployed models for various use cases like image generation or splitting audio tracks. You can try them through their UI and API is also available. Dat1 also accepts requests to deploy pretty much any open source model. So if you're missing something, don't hesitate to reach out to them. Their link is in video's description. And there you go, it has produced the code and just code, nothing else, which is pretty interesting. There you go. So just the code is here. Let me open it in the browser. And this is what it looks like. So you see, it is interactive. I'm hovering over it. And there are a few mistakes like, you know, um, there is a HTML at the top left. And but other than that, it is talking about financial year, the timing is there and some revenue and stuff. There is a donut chart and some monthly revenues, some invoice status around pie chart, some trend analysis, and looks pretty good. So you have a complete accounting dashboard in front of you. And it is it is also giving me the tooltip, which is pretty interesting. As I hover around it, there is no tooltip here. It would be good to have it interactive too. So pretty good, I would say. Let's try out few more. Okay, next one is a bit harder one. This time I am enabling the reasoning and I'm just going to expand it and show you the prompt. Now in this new prompt, what I'm going to ask it to create me a fully functional 3D molecular chemistry lab simulator in single HTML file using 3.js that includes a lot of stuff. 
now i haven't seen any model which was able to do it properly so let's see if it can do this even the previous cloud sonnet or even opus from anthropic was not able to do this because there are a lot of stuff here i know that vr ar augmented reality won't work but still why not just give it and let's see what it does here reasoning is on let's run this and i will show you when it finishes you see the reasoning it says extremely ambitious request very very nice that asks for a comprehensive molecular so this is very impressive that it understands what i'm doing it says it is practically impossible so this is really good that it is not hallucinating it is not trying to uh, you know do it but it is trying to come up with something functional educational and impressive so it is just creating this uh, simulator and it is generating the html so let's wait and then i will see what it does and show you and it has created the code as you can see and there is a lot of code you can see how long did it take you see it is talking about pdb file export what visualization it has created some chemistry feature and all this stuff let me open it in the browser and wow just look at this i'll be honest i haven't tested it yet i'm going to test it in front of you so this is a symbol i'll just click on it you see it is giving me so i'm just going to select water there you go wow and i'm just clicking on this one this one the simulation is running automatically let's add ammonia this is ammonia on the plane these are the properties some reactions let me make it bit uh, you know i think it is not fitting onto the screen just give me a sec okay so this looks much better so i'm just going to maybe click on like like carbon dioxide this is a carbon dioxide and i'm just going to click on this plane it is placing some of the elements here which has been selected like this one i'll now select this put the here another one here and maybe i will just go here these are few or other sim symbol and you see it is placing it on the plane and then these are the properties these are the reactions let's put glucose here this is different and of course if you're from chemistry background you might be able to tell me if it makes sense or not but i think it has done quite well i would say and then there is this periodic table where is periodic table it is not displaying it properly also this is where it fails so you see uh, it has done pretty well but a lot of other iterations are needed in this okay but i think for a starter it is pretty good it is a 3d plane as you can see okay let's go back and try out few more things okay let's try out another hard one so in this what i'm going to ask it to do is to implement a toy programming language call it mini pi or tiny lisp or whatever and provide a self-contained html file that acts as a compiler playground and these are the language requirements it should build a compiler and then it should give me a text area where i would put a tiny program into this toy language and it should compile and run it and there are few other tidbits let's see what happens here reasoning is on and i'm going to run it in front of you and once it is done we will check out what happens and now it is understanding what it needs to do and getting right into it and there you go it has finished creating the compiler and these are the language features these are the playground features and this is the architecture it has created a lexer parser and interpreter okay let's go with it and there is an abstract syntax tree too very nice okay let me take you to the browser and there you go we have our mini pi compiler playground very minimalistic one let's see if we run it runs or not so i'm just going to use the example which is here compile and run it says execution completed successfully but it hasn't really printed anything and if i just go down it has given me some examples maybe i'll just load this one i clicked on if else it has loaded it which is good let's run this nothing happens so it's not showing me output i will go back and tell the model to fix it okay so the model has generated another iteration let me take you to my browser and there you go so this is a code editor this is the output let me compile and run no code to run so i'll just go down here select maybe arithmetic compile and run 
yep looks good to me let's see if else let's compile and run that is correct x is greater than 5 let's see if i have an archie sequence yep looks good so at least it is working in the second iteration and it has built this whole compiler in front of you in all html so look a very very impressive model no doubt about that but at the same time, there is still a long way to go in terms of, you know, where we will have a coding agent which would do everything. You will just sit back and relax in one go. But still, you have to do a bit of an iteration in order to get it right. But having said that, things have improved a lot. And still, I believe Anthropics models are the leading models when it comes to code generation. That's it. Let me know what do you think. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. And also, I was using this model in Amazon Bedrock service, which is AWS Cloud's managed service to access models through API endpoint. If you don't know what that is, just go to my channel and watch this video where I have done a full Amazon Bedrock course a couple of years ago, but still very much valid. And just under 20 minutes, you should be able to start uh, with Amazon Bedrock very easily. Thank you for all the support.